Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Continuing with our poster series, we have changed the pants pattern of Robbie here, and we have added a tattoo. Now we want to make the gun more realistic. Specifically, more realistically metal, because it looks terribly plastic. It takes a few quick steps, so follow me as we go along. Open up the gun folder, highlight the gun layer, and duplicate it. Now take that layer, go to our blend modes right here, and choose hard light. You can tell it already is starting to have an effect. Now go up to filter, go to other, high pass, and you generally the higher you go, the more metallic effect it will have. So that looks pretty good. So turn off visibility of all the other layers. except for the two gun layers. And press and hold Command, Option, Shift, E. Now that we have our composite layer, Command click on the gun mask and apply a layer mask to this one. And then change the blend mode to overlay. Then make sure that the layer is selected, not the mask. Go to Filter, Sharpen, unsharp mask and it'll add a little bit of a grimy effect to it as you can see here which will enhance detail so I changed the amount to 199 with the radius at 2 pixels and make sure the threshold is 0 that way it really shows up and looks different press OK and there you go command S to save and we'll go back to our poster and we'll take a look at the difference that's after the effect and that's before. Before, after. Really different effect. Definitely, definitely a better effect. So, in the next tutorial, I'm just going to briefly go over how to add a little bit of mud and grime to Robbie's shoes.